Hi, this is David at Mash IT. Now being a small channel, we haven't always had a great budget to be able to buy things for the actual channel itself. When we first started, things were very tight. Now obviously myself being the star of the channel, I had to have a decent chair to be able to present from, but unfortunately we couldn't quite afford the same luxury for Gary, the video editor. So for the early days of Mash IT, Gary had to work from a bucket chair. So after a little while, when we started earning some money, we managed to upgrade Gary to a slightly more ergonomic chair, but it still wasn't the best. Now when Habada learned about Gary's working conditions, they clearly weren't very impressed. So they've actually sent over that E3 ergonomic office chair for us to be able to test and review. So tonight we're gonna to be taking a look at this ergonomic office chair. We're gonna be actually building it so that you can see how easy it is to actually construct. And then finally, we're gonna be letting Gary actually use a decent chair to be able to video edit for our channel. I think he does deserve it. So let's take a look at some of the features of this chair. The Habada E3 series ergonomic chair is an all steel frame covered with a breathable mesh that allows you to work comfortably for hours on end and adjust this chair to suit your needs. Now this chair comes in a range of options and we've got the Supreme Edition which retails at just under 500 US dollars. And for that we're getting the footrest included and the aluminium wheelbase but there are slightly cheaper versions available. So as I mentioned, this chair is fully adjustable. The headrest has height adjustment and angled adjustment. We have a height adjustable back support. We've got a footrest which can fold out or fold right back in so it's completely out of the way. The seat pad slides forward and backwards to make it adjustable for anybody. We have a gas cylinder which allows height adjustment. And with the footrest out, you can lean back at 90 degrees, 100 degrees, and then 115 degrees to give yourself a comfortable reclined position. The multifunction armrests are not only height adjustable, but slide forward and backwards, and outwards and inwards, so that you can find the most comfortable position to rest your arms when sitting comfortably at the chair. The chair also swivels smoothly, and the casters are high quality, so you can wheel yourself around your office floor with ease. The chair also has an adaptive waist support, and a dynamic curved fit to make it incredibly comfortable when you're sitting into this seat. Now the installation was very straightforward and we completed it in approximately half an hour. I was also able to complete this job on my own, but with Gary laughing at me. To start with, we screw the wheelbase together and the aluminium bars are incredibly robust. So there's no way this is gonna bend through use. Once we fix the legs in place, we insert the casters into the actual base legs. We're gonna spin it over and put in our gas cylinder. Once the base is complete, we're gonna move on to the seat. And for the seat section, because we've chosen the footrest, the first thing we need to do is install that. We're gonna take the screws out, slide the footrest into place and put the screws back in. And those screws are retaining screws so that it's adjustable but won't pop right away. Once the footrest is installed, we move on to the actual arms. It is just a case of three screws in each arm which lock it into place of the seat. Next, we install the tilt mechanism to the seat. You place it as shown in the instruction manual and screw it down and that's it. Next, we insert the backrest into the actual tilt mechanism and screw that into place. So once the seat section is complete, this is one of the most tricky parts is actually inserting the seat onto the gas cylinder of the base. Now, this seat is reasonably heavy and you've got to locate the actual gas cylinder. So I personally found it easier to leave the seat upside down and place the gas cylinder into its locking mechanism. Now that the seat is complete, all we need to do is insert the headrest and screw that to the seat. And once that's complete, we put a, just a little protection cap on the back, which smartens it up and retains the Habada logo. That's it. It's as simple as that and our chair is up and running. So now that we've built the chair, how does it feel? And is it going to be good enough to replace Gary's bucket chair? Well, you're going to need to spend a few minutes adjusting this chair to suit your body. But that doesn't take you long, and once you do, wow, this chair is incredibly comfortable. So I've spent the last week using this chair as my daily driver, doing some long days sitting in this chair, and it has remained comfortable even through a really long shift of video editing or writing scripts that I'm doing on a daily basis. And to be honest, I'm not sure I want to give it up. I'm actually finding this more comfortable than the Razor chair that I've been using. And I also love the breathable mesh material that they've used I wasn't sure when I first saw it, but having used this chair for a week, I love the fact that this lets your body breathe and you don't get hot like you do in some other chairs. Like the Razor chair that I'm currently using, it's a great chair, but it's very bulky and it sort of encompasses you and actually doesn't allow your body to breathe. So I get very hot sitting in that chair, especially in the heat of the summer that we've got at the moment. But with this chair, with the airflow that has allowed through this mesh system, I've been sitting in this for long periods of time and I'm not overheating at all. Absolutely loving that. I also like the fact that you can lock the chair back in reclined mode, flip out the footrest, 
and that allows you to be able to maybe sit back and listen to some music or watch a movie at the end of your long day's work. But I have to be honest, I'm not sure how often I would use that. But if you don't, I like the way that the footrest flips back away and stays handily out of sight underneath the chair. And if you really don't want that footrest feature, you can order this chair without the footrest at all. And from using this chair for an entire week, the only niggle I've really come across, I would say, and this is really minor, but you know, I like to find a fault with everything. I would like to have seen them add locking mechanisms to the actual twist feature on the armrest, because sometimes when I get out of the chair, I do knock it out of alignment. But I have to be honest, this is minor and it takes me one second to lock it back in again. But I like to sort of be objective and that is the one change that I would have made. Now you can buy this chair directly from the Vardy website. Not only do they have this E3 ergonomic chair, they've got plenty of others. I'm going to put the link in the description down below that you can check it out and have a look at all the different chairs that they offer. And they've also got this available on the Amazon USA website. I'm going to put a link to the description down below in case you prefer buying it direct from Amazon. That will be in the description section, so make sure you click it and go and check that out. And I also want to thank Habada for sending in this chair for a review. They clearly realised that Gary's in desperate need for a decent chair, so thank you Habada for that. But this review is all our own thoughts and uh, objective opinions. Habada have no hand in this review. So what do you think of this Habada chair? It is very expensive at just under $450, but in my opinion, this is worth it. It's a fantastic chair and I've really enjoyed using it for the last week. Pop your comments in the description down below and I will get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.